Um, first of all, thanks for the chance to come up here and share what we see, have seen at SSRN. Um, I was in this room five years ago with the absolutely horrendous Wi-Fi in the very first year, and I'm just really impressed by how things have evolved. So from a setup, you know, when we thought about annotation at SSRN, and SSRN's traditionally been in the social sciences, um, we actually just started a biology network we're moving into life and physical sciences. But when we started off thinking about it, so the social sciences are very, very siloed. So if you're not in the social sciences, you think of them as social sciences and very social set of sciences. But really, they're very, very siloed. So there hasn't traditionally been a lot of sharing across different disciplines. So at SSRM, we have a great paper uh, written by an economist on parochial versus public schools. And it's published by the National Bureau of Economics Research. My wife, who's a speech pathologist in city schools, would never, ever find that. So to us, annotation was how do we start to make the connections across different ways of thinking? How do the educators find out what the economists are doing? How do the lawyers find out what the accountants are doing? And how do we start to share across these things by adding a layer? Now, um, I missed Berlin a year ago because we actually joined uh, Elsevier. And we have a really pretty new building. So anybody who happens to be in the greater Rochester, New York area, stop on by. Uh, we had a ribbon cutting the other day. And the first thing we did was annotate the building. And we annotated the building, not because it didn't have an address, not because it wasn't a building, but because annotation made it easier for people to find us. And that's the way we think about annotation, is it helps people use things, find things, and work with things better and faster. So we've been doing this for a little bit of time. So the first thing we did was we looked out, year two I think it was, we said, well, what can we actually do? I know we've taken us way down too much time, and too many other people are smarter than us in the room figuring out how to create tools. So we said, what's out there? So we jumped on the bandwagon of, of it, kind of think it was still rap genius, and we basically said, let's add, when somebody says in a hip-hop lyric, Brown V, a paper necessary that talks about Brown versus the Board of Education. Let's actually make a connection to the research that's related to in this rap lyric. As rap genius became genius, they then added on other types of things. So here you see Einstein's letter, and we annotated that as it relates to creativity and the creative mind. So this link then links over to an SSRN page, so the people can then go a little bit deeper into real-world research. Again, SSRN is primarily open access, free of charge to get to the content. So we're sharing real-world research across a multitude of different social sciences with things that help connect people to other things. We then added, continue to use the uh, Genius tool. We uh, started to annotate some stuff in the Guardian. Again, you start to see some other connections about ways to start to people start to think about university settings and education and market-driven economies. We started to try to connect the dots across different things so that, again, people could have different ways of looking at different things from different perspectives. And our view is that the different perspectives help create cool new innovative research in our area, but also help people see things differently and broaden their horizons so they can do better in their own lives. Now, we, we kind of jokingly refer to it as, as, as a different flavor of cognitive access. And so the, you know, the definition of cognitive access is basically the ability to make use of something in reasoning, rational action, planning, or communication. And so the ability to have another connection, the ability to have some other way to look at things helps you move things forward, or at least that's what we believe. So this kind of scary picture of a devil isn't really the devil, right? It's actually just a simple picture by Mablethorpe. Well, actually probably the only Mablethorpe that I could actually show on a screen in a public setting. But again, it's a Mablethorpe. So it's just another way to look at a picture, another way to think about things. Thanks a lot.